I guess it's recommending. I guess it's kind of recommending thrillers to you. I don't know. F favorite genre gateway books? Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with another Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday was originally created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey, but it is now run by Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes, so I will leave both their links down below as well as the Goodreads group if you guys are interested in joining us. Today's topic is your top five gateway books to your favorite genre. A lot of people don't know this, but my favorite genre is actually thrillers. A lot of people think that it is YA, but that is not the case. So I'm going to be giving five books that I think are really great thrillers. And I've tried to pick like a variety so that people with different tastes would maybe like them. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Without further ado, let us get started. The first book is The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tours. I absolutely love this book. I have a full spoiler-free review if you guys want to check it out. But this book basically follows Deanna Madden and she has this bloodlust and she really likes to kill people so she locks herself in apartment 6e and she hasn't had any communication like physically with anybody for three years. She makes her money off of being a cam girl. She discovers that one of her customers is kind of on the weird side and his fetish is something that may actually put somebody else in danger and she decides that she is going to act on this by leaving her apartment. This is like an erotica thriller book so I think that is a good gateway for like older adults. If you guys want to get into thrillers because it has a lot of sexual stuff in it so if you're a little minor please don't read this book because it's inappropriate for you and there's pornish stuff in it and no no children should not be reading porn. The next book that I have is a young adult thriller and it is The Merciless by Danielle Vega. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars I believe it might be a 4.5 honestly I can't remember I'm not very good at remembering things. This book follows Sophia and a girl named Brooklyn and three other girls in her, their high school and basically these three other girls decide that Brooklyn is possessed by Satan and she needs to be exorcised and it basically follows this exorcism and it's just so entertaining I couldn't stop turning the pages it's basically Mean Girls meets The Exorcist and I just I couldn't get enough of it if you're a young adult and you want to get into thriller books that aren't really that scary I would definitely pick this up. Except there were some like graphic scenes that kind of made me nauseous, but I also have a very weak stomach, so you gotta take that into account. The next thriller book that I'm going to say is If You Find Me by Emily Murdoch. This book follows Carrie, who's 15, and her younger sister, Janessa, who is six years old, and they were kidnapped by her mother many years ago, and that is when her mother disappears, and her father actually ends up finding her out in the woods in a camper, and she goes and lives with him, and it's basically her adjusting to her new life. Janessa is also along with her, and things get a little out of hand when Carrie realizes that she can't actually hide the secrets that she's been hiding for many years anymore. It was just so good. It was so good. I couldn't stop reading it. I am think I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars, but it just kept me on the edge of my seat the entire time. I needed to know what the secret was. The secret was so entertaining and I just, I love this book. It's really good. I would say it's probably a young adult as well. The next book that I have, I have talked about on my channel so much. Everybody knows I love it so, so much. It is Daddy by PJ Ferguson. This book follows Joe Williams and after something tragic happens in his family, he needs to rely on these 12 jury members to either bring justice or not to his family. I'm pretty sure this was the first real thriller book that I read and it just got me hooked. I could not stop reading thrillers after this. It was just so entertaining. I had to know what happened next. I think I read it in like one sitting or two sittings. I just, I couldn't get enough of it. Highly recommend this book. A lot of people have not heard of it other than if you've seen my channel because I gush about it all the time. But it is so good. My final thriller gateway book that I have to recommend to you is You by Caroline Kepneys. This book is told through the perspective of a stalker named Joe and he is stalking a young woman named Beck and it is just so creepy to be inside of his head. I actually listened to this book on audiobook and just actually hearing his thoughts it was just Oh, it was so creepy, but I couldn't put the book down. And like, it was weird because I was like rooting for Joe so hard. I was like, yes, BB, get the girl, which is so messed up. But I just, I love this book. 
Alright guys, so those were my top five gateway books for my favorite genre, which are thrillers. I hope you guys read these books because they're honestly so good. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!